Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you the easiest way to create an atmospheric fog or smoke animation like this. At first I create a new composition and name it fog. Now create a new solid. The color of the solid doesn't matter. Go to the effect panel and search for fractal noise and drag the effect on the solid. Set the contrast to 75 and set the complexity to 20. The closer the number goes to 20, the more details the noise has. While holding down the Alt key, click the evolution stopwatch and type in time multiplied 100. Now go to transform and add an expression to the offset with holding down the Alt key and clicking the stopwatch. Type in open square bracket value open square bracket zero close square bracket comma value open square bracket one close square bracket close square <laughs> close square bracket. Oh that was a tongue twister. Now you can add behind the value time multiplied every number, for example 100, to generate an automatic offset in every direction, horizontally, vertically or diagonally. Press T on the keyboard and set the opacity to around 20%. Uncheck uniform scaling in the fractal noise effect and scale the fog till you like it. If you need a full screen fog, congratulations, you did it. If you want to create the fog like in the intro, you have to add a natural organic mask like I do. Add turbulent displays to the solid. And set amount to 80 and the size to 20. Choose a complexity which you like. Click on the fog layer and press E on the keyboard twice. While holding down the Alt key on the keyboard, press the offset turbulent stopwatch and link it with the lasso tool to the fractal noise offset. Add fast box blur above every effect and set blur radius to 90 and iterations to 7. To make the fragments disappear, add Gaussian blur to the solid and set it to around 30. And the fog is done. If you want to colorize the fog, add the tint effect and change the color of the fog in every color you want. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and we see us in the next. Bye.